okay we're talking about writing the CSS for a template that uh, for a website that then we're going to convert into a Joomla template so this is what I have so far this is my final project this is what we're shooting towards and I'm showing you kinda how we could build this and so um, playing with it you see I've got the um, just the top header graphic tiling across the top and I've got my logo on the left but we want to get it to look like this eventually okay so now what we're gonna do is focus in on this nav bar here this main navigation bar and show you how we do that with the um, with the CSS so um, I'm gonna go to Komodo edit here and in Komodo edit I'm going to this is the HTML from the finished copy and I'm going to copy this um, unordered list this is the navigational elements, the home link, the about us link, the products link, the gallery, contact us. You can see here, link, link, link. Um, and they're linking to nowhere right now. But um, anyway, I'm just going to um, copy this. It's an unordered list here. And I'll paste it into my new HTML. And the, the question is, where do you paste it? So in my um, div header here, here in my header div I'm going to paste it beneath this image of the logo that we put in in the last tutorial so I'll paste it right there and so now I have an unordered list right here um, and the ID for this unordered list is um, nav dash main and so I need to create that now we'll go take a look at that on the um, finished CSS template and we'll see here that Okay, there's nav main right there, so that's what we have to write in, um, that's what we need to write in our new CSS, right? So, right underneath header, I'm going to put a pound sign, and then nav dash main, open and close curly braces, right? And then I'll put in line by line some of the code. So the first one that's here is display inline. So we'll say copy and then we'll paste that in there. All right, display inline, file, save, right? And then we'll see what does that do on our final piece here. And we hit enter and it hasn't done much, right? Um, and we also need to save, uh, let's see here, our HTML file, save, and then refresh. And so there is the, the um, links, right? But instead of showing up up here, they're showing up below. So we need to look at our um, CSS and find out how can, we, how can we style that correctly, how can we fix that. So we've got it in the header, right? But they're showing up um, beneath the, um, they're not moving up like they should. So we'll look here at the template CSS and see what else can we do. We've got, um, let's take these two lines and we'll copy and put those in. And let's see here, nav main and line and we'll put float left so we're going to float this navigational main navigational list and then we're going to put a margin above 79 pixels I think this is um, 190 pixels um, to the left so these are the margin links and um, let's see here if I comment that out let's see what kind of feedback okay so margin right we hit colon shorthand for setting margin top margin right margin bottom and margin left so top right bottom left so top 79 pixels bottom 0 left uh, uh, top 79 right 0 bottom 0 and left 190 pixels so let's see what that does so I'll uncomment that and hit file 
save and now I'm going to open up this index2.html in my Firefox browser and hit refresh and you'll see that well it's it's moved over and it's starting to slide up but it's not link these links are not laid out horizontally and they're also showing up before the Apollo telemedicine so that's a problem so now what I'll do is I'll go back to my CSS and try to put in the next piece and see what that does okay so padding zero list style none let's put those in and see what that does okay we'll start with padding zero see if that does anything at all I'm not even wondering if it'll do anything padding zero padding zero just uh, moved it over slightly and then let's take a look at list style none list style setting three properties list style list style image list style position okay none semicolon save and refresh and so list style has um, none which got rid of our um, our uh, dots for our unordered list so there's uh, no um, dots for lists or numbers right it's not a numbered list and it's not a list with uh, dots it has absolutely no uh, markers in front of the list but we're still missing some key elements that will help it style correctly so we'll look here and we'll see that in my final piece um, let's see here in my final piece we've also got some other elements here we've got nav dash main we've also got nav main um, link elements right which have um, some images associated with them and some floats and then we have some anchor an anchor tag here nav main anchor which shows um, some different elements here too um, and I'm wondering what that's going to do so let's put some of that in and see what kind of effect that has on the um, on the uh, on the style so we'll copy this and paste that in here right and we're not going to work about we're not we'll comment out the background issue for now and we'll just see what these link elements will do how can we get it to float in the right position so that actually enabled these um, these uh, links to lay out horizontally so that's pretty interesting um, and I'm not sure why that is why the link elements um, floated left and margin zero and padding zero why it had that effect I, like I said I'm not an expert in CSS but between these two um, it seems like that had the effect maybe this inline display inline has an effect let's see here how the element is to be displayed denotes the box type format um, inline and I'm not really quite sure what that does but oh well it looks good and but still we have the problem of it coming after the um, the graphic in the header we had header image float left which we got rid of let's put that back and see if that puts the the image back on the left so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste that here file save and then I'll take a look at it in the browser and now sure enough the image is floated left and the links are here on the right and so it's starting to look correct 